Let's hope this one is a little longer. Tristan starts the game by mulliganing to 6. Sakura Tribe Elder from Brian who also gains a life. Call off of the Ghost Council from Tristan. Kodama's reach from Brian on his turn 3. Tristan attacks Josh for 2 in retaliation for the last game. Gitrock monster from Brian on his turn 4. And then plays an additional land for the turn. Tristan casts Merciless Executioner for the sole purpose of killing Brian's scary frog. In response, Brian shoots one of Tristan's lands with Strip Mine, despite the fact Josh is playing Maelstrom Wanderer, who just attacked Brian for over a billion damage just a few minutes ago. Karlov then attacks Brian for two. Maelstrom Wanderer is slow rolling at this game, since no one is really threatening him yet. Brian gives everyone swamps with Urbog, Tomb of Yorgmoth, and then casts Fierce Empath to get a big guy. Tristan attacks Brian again for two, since he has so many lands. Tristan casts Necropotence and then pays six life to put six cards in his hand. Xenagos God of Revels from Josh as his first card of the game. Brian then plays the creature he got last turn. Woodland Bellower to put Reclamation Sage into play to blow up Tristan's Necropotence. Tristan attacks Josh for two on his turn and then casts Bane Slayer Angel. Josh pays a life into a Sackland to cast Ethereum Horn Sculptor to cascade into Farseek. Josh then attacks Tristan for 6. Brian casts a new Sedisi, newer Sedisi, sacking a creature and finding a card. Tristan attacks Brian with his BSA and Josh with Karlov. Bane Slayer first strike damages Brian for 5, gaining 5 life, countering Karlov, dealing Josh 4 damage. Tristan then trick Maws Brian's Woodland Bellow, killing it, and then plays Maze of Ith. Josh then exiles Tristan's Bane Slayer with Duplicate, then pumps the Duplicate and attacks Tristan for 10, seemingly forgetting that Brian exists. Tristan untaps the attacking creature with Maze of Ith. On Brian's turn, he exiles Josh's Xenagos enchantment with World Breaker. Brian then also attacks Tristan and he ends up taking 2 damage. Tristan casts Sun Titan on his turn, returning the Merciless Executioner to play, so everyone sacks their least useful creature. Josh casts Maelstrom Wanderer, cascading into Big Omnath and Turner Ascendancy, drawing 1 card. Omnath land force getting a 5-5 elemental. Everything then attacks Brian, since things can't get through to Tristan. Brian takes a total of 12 damage and then Omnath bolts Sidisi when it dies, finishing off Sidisi. Brian makes Iman on his turn with Cabal Coffer's Urbo combo, which he then uses to cast Grave Titan and Burnished Heart. Tristan casts his commander, Obsidat Ghost Council, training Brian for 2 life. Sun Titan then attacks Josh for 6 with the Titan once again, returning Fleshbag Marauder's brother to play. One mana short of being able to cast Maelstrom Wanderer again, Josh casts both Urban Evolution and Explosive Vegetation to ramp. Brian recasts his commander and attacks Josh for 6 with his Grave Titan, unable to get through to Tristan. On Tristan's upkeep, Obsidat drains Brian for 2 life and 2 life for Tristan. Tristan gets Vault of the Archangel with Weathered Wayfarer. Tristan then loses 2 life from Ancient Tomb to cast Falconrath Noble. 
He then attacks Josh for six with Sun Titan, pays two life into Phyrexian Reclamation, to return and cast Merciless Executioner. Three things die, meaning three Falconrath Noble triggers, Brian loses three life, and Tristan gains three life. Karloff is now a 14-14. Josh takes an extra turn with Part the Water Veil, and casts Orphan Wild Hydra to put Eye of Ujin onto the battlefield. Josh casts Artisan of Kozilek to get Duplicate to exile Tristan's Karlov. He then casts Zealous Construct to seal Brian's Grave Titan. He then all out attacks Tristan, who takes 6 damage from an unblocked Grave Titan with Tristan gaining a life and Josh losing a life from the Noble. Tristan Maze of Ith's Josh's Huge Hydra. At the end of Josh's second turn, Brian blows up Josh's eye and draws a card from his commander. Brian casts Royal Dread Whispering 1 and Reap and Sow Entwined, blowing up Josh's homeward path and finding a land. Tristan sacks Sun Titan on his turn and drains Brian for 2 life with his commander when it re-enters. He then casts Sunblast Angel to kill 2 power creatures. Josh gets his duplicate back with Eternal Witness and uses it to exile Brian's Trail Dread. Josh then attacks Tristan for 6 with his duplicate. Brian returns to DC to his hand during his upkeep with Genesis, sacks a land, and draws a card from the frog. Brian generates a lot of mana with Cabal Coffers and casts in Guruk's Wake, destroying a lot of Josh's creatures. Brian recasts Sidisi to get a card and then attacks and kills Josh. Phyrexian Reclamation and 2 life returns Sunblast Angel to Tristan's hand. And then Obsidat drains Brian for 2 on Tristan's upkeep. Tristan casts Angel of Serenity to exile 2 of Brian's big creatures other than Gitrock Monster, since it is protected by Lightning Greaves. On Brian's turn, he casts Demonic Tudor to get Dark Imposter and uses it to exile Tristan's Angel, returning cards to hands. Brian attacks and deals Tristan 12 damage. Obsidat comes back for Tristan to drain Brian to life, but it's not enough and Brian is winning the Mana War and the Card Advantage War, especially with Genesis in the graveyard, which means Brian is eventually able to overcome Tristan's defenses and life total, for him to emerge victorious the game for the Gitrock monster. We hope you enjoyed this extremely long game of Commander, and if you want to check out these other not as long games of Commander, please click on these links on screen, especially this one featuring me playing Azusa. She's fun. Feel free to also tutor through all the other videos by Gameplays by Clonehead. Have a great week. Bye.